Wow, Terry, nice. Wow, yes, Terry, nice camera. ass. I got you on camera. Thanks. Bending, Bending over, over for the whole, the whole, the whole world. world. Facebook, Facebook, <laughs> Show it off. Show it off. All right, there we go. <laughs> so in this matchup, all righty, well, that's the way he calls them out, but we'll slow it down for you, and I'll introduce people as they get up there. We know what's what and who's who. Okay, this is Rick. Rick and myself against Wayne and Mike. Wayne starting off 12 point handicap. And he goes right for the bell. See, the teams complain about the bell, but as soon as they hit a six pack, they run for it. It's just a fun thing for everybody to do. This is a team that does not announce their horseshoe or their uh, six packs. They're like us, we just say six pack, but it's nice to have a bell. Good job, Rick. <laughs> and look at that. Hits the front of the board. That is a good reset. <laughs> and when you throw a shoe like that, that's all you have to do is reset. You just are like, what am I doing? Focus. Put this one on. <sighs> nope. That was a good shoe. Felt like it. Yeah, till till they till they come down to the pit and <laughs> Okay, we can go we can go uh, Wayne starts out with a six pack and ends with a quicksilver. And at this point, I, I'm looking at it going 18 zip, no problem. Rick and I, no problem. I thought that was on. <laughs> so we're on the board. See if I can actually put one on. If I put one on, I can get maybe 25% out of this. There we go. At least I shot 25% this game. Let's see what I do here. I needed that six pack to get some momentum. It didn't happen. Oh, 
That, yeah, that looked low out of his hand. <clears throat> that looked low too. Oh! <laughs> I think that's why a lot of uh, uh, people like shooting in clay because they don't get lucky bounces and lucky slides and all that stuff. You have to hit 40 exactly or you don't get it. Clay definitely takes a lot of the luck out of the game. The sand and this baseball mix is a lot more forgiving. You can throw a two foot short shoe and it actually ends up on the ringer. He throws in no step, but he does create momentum by switching his weight to his uh, rear leg and then and switching it back. It's like a rocking motion, which is not so bad. Maybe maybe on an after hours one of these things I'll I'll throw Wayne's uh, no step. So three they go. <laughs> Twenty one one and that'll put us to five and two. So not looking too good here. But it was fun. That's what happens. Next summer, or next spring, check us out. We're actually gonna look at uh, possibly not allowing a 12 point handicap in an inner division play. Once we're playing an, inside our own division, 12 points is a big thing to take care of uh, against a team that's capable. And here's another thing that happened. I found out that they had, they have three subs. And a normal, in a normal week, in the first 12 weeks when they're uh, playing everyone, Everybody on their team plays. And I guess Wayne wasn't even here a couple of weeks. And now that we're interdivision, now all their good players show up all, all at once. And you have one sub, and he'll you'll see him a little later. And he only plays one game and then sits out. So that's what you can do with subs. And that's sort of, sort of sandbagging because uh, we play a five-man rotation with Lexi. And we have Lexi all season coming in at the same 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 times, the same games, and even when it matters and stuff's on the line and we're up against the wall, Lexi is still coming in at the same time, at the same amount of time, and we're still we're still playing our rookie person, where they have their rookie person. Two of them didn't even show up. They didn't even come. They because I'm I'm assuming that they knew they weren't going to be uh, scheduled to play. Because they wanted the uh, all four big dogs in here to uh, battle against us every single game. They didn't want to have uh, a chance of losing any single game at all. So, so in a, in a form that's sandbagging, but it's completely legal. The only thing we can do is is limit the uh, handicap we give them, so we can at least have a chance to gain momentum. And plus, we're starting out there at their bar, so they're shooting first. So that's another handicap on us. So. I was thinking if if you if if the vote goes down and nobody wants to get rid of the 12 point handicap in interdivision, my suggestion would be is okay, the person that's giving the handicap gets to go first every game because you don't get you don't get a double handicap. You're already getting 12, and now you're getting to go first because the schedule just happens to be at your home bar. So we got to get something. Give us the give us the clean pit to throw on when when we're giving you twelve, giving them over half the game away. Give us something back. So check out check out the 22, 2022 spring meeting and you'll see some of these changes that I'm talking about integrating. We'll, we'll talk about them there and see how people uh, react to them. All right. So thanks for watching and we're out of here. Look at it. One one point. Thanks a lot.